Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is my review of Zombieland Double Tap. Zombieland Double Tap is the sequel to the 2009 horror comedy Zombieland. <laughs> This time, our gang of friends has found a little bit of security within the White House when things start to get just a bit stagnant. And when they split up, a new adventure must begin as our group chases after one of their own as bigger, badder, harder to kill zombies unleash. So I had a lot of fun with Zombieland. I thought it was a nice kind of funny zombie film and we've had so many of those over the past decade or so and this is definitely one of my favorites if not my favorite of the bunch i don't think it's quite number one but it's definitely up near the top of the list however these long delayed sequels really are hit and miss every now and then we get one that's just great and delivers on everything you were hoping it would such as The Incredibles 2, but for every one of those, I feel like we've gotten many more of Zoolander 2 or Dumb and Dumber sequels where we get these long-awaited sequels to beloved films and they're just terrible. So now here we are with Zombieland returning. It has all of the original cast back. We've added some new big hitters and the trailers, they looked okay, but they definitely left some to be desired. However, I think the movie is quite a bit of fun. I enjoyed myself overall when it comes to Zombieland Double Tap. So let's go ahead and kick things off with the positives. Well, our cast is a lot of fun. Our main cast definitely have that magic. They definitely have that chemistry and their dynamic together just works. It's a lot of fun. You're right back in it with these characters. You're having a good time. And they're able to deliver that same atmosphere, the same feeling as we got in the first film. Also, I think Rosario Dawson in particular was amazing in this movie. I loved her character and I just wanted more. I want a spinoff of her character, honestly. I thought she was so good. I loved it. Zoe Deutsch, mm, I had a love-hate with her character and her in general, so we'll circle back around to her. But our main four, they were all great, and it worked best when they were playing and riffing off of one another. But that's not to say they didn't bounce off of the new cast members as well. So all in all, it just delivered that atmosphere you were hoping for. Now, I don't think this is a laugh riot fest. This is not laugh after laugh after laugh, which I'll get to actually in the negatives. However, we get some really fun set pieces. Even when they're not laugh out loud funny, the sets themselves are just a lot of fun to watch. Because this movie really does blend comedy horror very well. There are some gruesome moments that literally lead right into laughs, which is perfect and exactly what I was hoping for. And this movie delivers several pretty awesome set pieces throughout the movie that had me like, oh, no, I don't know if I want to see that. But also then I'm like, oh, okay, that was pretty awesome. <laughs> I also loved these new places that we ventured to, um, a place called Babylon, and of course we get to Graceland and an Elvis theme going on at part of the film, the White House that we explore, the mall, uh, we, we get a lot of new places and they're awesome and they actually deliver some really fun moments. Plus, it's a pretty short film. It flies by at about an hour 40. It clicks along. It moves fast. Just when it starts to hit into a lull, you get another awesome set piece that reinvigorates the film. So what doesn't work so well, then, when it comes to Zombieland Double Tap? Well, it's very similar to the first one, <laughs> which is both a blessing and a little bit of a curse as well. It's great because it's not this big departure. They're not trying to reinvent the wheel. There's nothing out of left field here. But it also does have a big feeling of same. And then when it comes to the new characters, I already mentioned I loved Rosario Dawson. But Zoe Deutsch was 
funny and then really annoying. Like, to the point where her character was a straight-up caricature, and it, it got a little bit wearing on me. Like, her character was a punchline that wore thin within, like, the first five minutes of meeting her. And every now and then they would try to vary up what was happening with her character and give her a little spice, but it just didn't do much. Also, there are some other jokes in here that just seem to go on a bit long, where they're introduced, they're funny, and then it's like, okay, we, we can move past that because it's, it's been a bit much. Let's go. I will also say that it feels a little bit outdated in some aspects. Uh, so some of the comedy really is funny and fun. But there's actually long stretches of this movie I just went without laughing at all because... I don't know, the comedy just, it wasn't for me, subjectively, I, I was just like, okay, uh, well, I guess if you love it, me too, right? But there were just a lot of kind of meh jokes that, that didn't quite hit the mark for me. And then there's a lot of overacting, <laughs> I have to admit it. And I love him, but particularly from Woody Harrelson, I was like, oh my, whoa, Woody, whoa, this is too much. And the film in and of itself just goes like one step overboard a few too many times, whether it be with the rules and getting that kind of meta in your face um, to match up to the first film or Woody Harrelson throwing a hissy fit, but it is just so outrageous that you're like, oh my gosh, this is a little bit much, or the caricature that is Zoe Deutsch's character. There's a lot that's just a little bit too over the top for me. But overall, those only somewhat diminished my enjoyment of the film. I don't think it's as good as the first one, but if you enjoy Zombieland, I do think you're going to have a fun time with this sequel. It's definitely worth checking out. I think you'll have fun getting back together with the gang and going on a familiar but somewhat new adventure. <laughs> If you are a big fan of Zombieland, I honestly think this is probably worth a full price ticket for you. I think you'll have a great time, get your friends together, and it'll be a fun outing at the theaters. Plus, you need your gang together just in case that zombie apocalypse breaks out. Otherwise, I say the quality of the film is probably right around uh, a matinee. It's fun, it has its moments, it has some shining spots, but eh, it also has plenty of its problems. and feels a lot like the same. And if you do check out Zombieland Double Tap, make sure to stick around because there is a mid credit scene that is a lot of fun. And then there is a post credit stinger, basically, that's also some fun. And make sure you get there on time because the intro is great. So that is my review of Zombieland Double Tap. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click like, down below and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date on our latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. Are you excited to see Zombieland Double Tap? And what are your thoughts on Zombieland? Let me know either in the comment section down below or you can hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your continued support. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!